Hey, this is John Johnson, the Mortgage Music Man, coming at you with a quick video. Um, many times, processors and underwriters in the process will ask you to submit a bank statement, um, but it, it, which is not as hard to do. Um, if you're able to go online, find a statement, print the statement like in its normal statement format for 30 days, it's normally not too complicated, but it does get a little bit complicated. When they ask you, you know, for the last 10 days, the last five days, the last 15 days, et cetera, uh, just because it has to have a URL on it uh, when you're doing that. So the URL is going to be at the top. For example, in this situation, it says my accounts at babyfederal.org. Many times when you go to print for banks, they won't show those. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find some way to print. So either click right click and then print, or a lot of times on the screen, it'll say print somewhere on there, but find some way to press the print button on the screen. Uh, when you press print, the situation that brings me to this with Navy Federal, uh, I click the print button. Uh, what you want to do is you want to click save as PDF and you want to come down to more settings. And the main thing you want to have is, uh, let's say the margins default, scale default, many times, but the most important thing is going to be this header and footer. Uh, as you can see, when I click the header and footers off, the URL goes away. When I click it again, the URL shows up at the bottom. So you want to have this headers and footers in the more section, save it as a PDF in order to be get it to save uh, in a format to where we can be able to see the accounts, we can see the URL at the bottom, and that'll work for an underwriter. And that'll save you having to, you know, uh, take photos on your phone and make in all these other different ways that underwriters just won't allow you to do. Uh, this is the best method to do it. Uh, but thank you for listening and hope you guys have a great day.